friends, we have made it to Los Angeles. I have ditched the puffer. She ain't coming out again. And I'm so ready for it. I am so happy. It's a beautiful day here. I mean, as like, it is 99.9% .9 of the time, so that's not surprising. There was this guy at the Portland airport named Benjamin, Benny, and he was so kind. It was an almost completely full flight. So he like made an announcement for people to not ask for seat changes. And then when we went up to check in, he was like, oh, just so you know, I saw that there was a blind person on the flight. So I moved you to um, the fourth row, which was the row right behind first class. And he said, I thought it would be easier for you. Um, and I was like, that is so kind. And it's one of those things like, he went out of his way to accommodate me and I would have never asked for that accommodation, but did it help me? Absolutely. It was so much easier because I was originally placed at the back of the plane and it was so much easier um, to get on and off when I was really close to the front and it was also easier to get up and go to the bathroom because I was so close to it. So that was just so kind. Um, Delta is always the best. They're my favorite airline, frankly. Um, there's a lot of airlines that are great, but I just love flying with Delta when I can. So thank you, Benjamin. That was top-notch customer service, much appreciated. Unfortunately, the bus when you get to LAX is not very accessible. To get an Uber, Lyft, or taxi, you have to take a bus and it makes no auditory announcements, so lax, we need to work on that. But I am in an LA taxi and um, the driver turned on a screen reader for the screen. So I made an announcement when I go on that there was audio updates available if I triple tap the middle of the screen, so I did. And now it's been periodically reading me my fare out loud um, as we keep driving so that I know how much the fare is going to cost, which is amazing. We love accessibility like that. Well done. Your total fare is $53.19. Okay, we are about to pull up to the new complex. It is a gated community, which is nice and safe, top priority. And um, we've actually never seen the layout of this unit because this unit wasn't, there was none available, none were empty when we toured a few months back. So, fingers crossed we like it as much as we think we will, but we liked the other styles of unit. A few moments later. Crazy day. <laughs> so we arrived, we got into the unit. We have never, we didn't get the chance to see this specific unit, but we were told it was identical to the one we had seen. And then we got here and it wasn't. So that was a panic, tears were shed. Very stressful because we literally like have boxes upon boxes arriving and nowhere else to live. So that was a panic, but um, as always, I have to say America has top-notch customer service and top-notch, like- So all the abilities. Like, yeah. no, like top-notch at like assisting with disability. Like if there is an accommodation needed in a building, I've always found for my specific disability, it's always very easy to get it. Um, and I really appreciate that about America. So they are going to be coming in. The unit we had seen had pot lights installed throughout the whole space, which as you guys know, lighting is very important for me. This unit has no pot lights anywhere and there's no bedroom lighting and there's no living room lighting. And that was like one of the biggest like, oh my God, what? And so they are having their guy come in and they are going to install pot lights throughout the entire unit. I'm so grateful, but that was very stressful. So dodge the bullet. I opened my suitcase. Uh, because also this morning I woke up to my period so got my period undies on now and I got my slippers out because that was very important because your girl's gonna be stubbing her toe on everything for a while and now my friends Mo and Chris who are literally like my second mother and father um, are driving out they have been accepting boxes upon boxes upon boxes of orders and deliveries for us and they are they have filled two cars and they were gonna bring all the stuff and we were gonna have a fun little party opening them and hopefully some wine. I need it. <laughs> yeah, we need wine. Yeah. Hey <laughs> Mo, thank you so much. Hello everybody. Well, look at This here. is our dear friend. <laughs> look at the back. This is the back of the car. This is a dear, dear friend. We Only a dear friend would do this now. <laughs> oh my God. My pleasure, Neve, as always. Thank you Mo. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you guys. Hello, so this doing? is our new concierge, I'm Jordan. Concierge. I'm Jordan. And he is amazing. Right away he's helping us. He's doing things he doesn't have to I, do. Listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm here to make sure that everyone has a great time. Can you bring the tequila then? The tequila's the waiting tequila? in the room. It's and the gym. <laughs> Moving load. <laughs> Moving mo. <mode. laughs> Hello, my darling. Yeah. Welcome back. 
Hey, Mo is here, Chris is here, the concierge, everybody's pitching in. This is actually hilarious. There's still so much more to come. We'll show you when everything's in. But Mo said she brought something, and well, I hear yes. bottles clanking, so I have hopes. Well, you know, it's, it's the Irish way, right? That's <laughs> all I can say. Oh, so, Mo. If you helped us out the Irish way. You know. Oh, my God. Little, can little I see little that? Cheer. One for you. Rosé. Rosé. <laughs> oh, my God. I actually sparkly. love the it's bottle. The, it's look sparkly. Look at, do you see the bottle? You know it's like a rose. These? Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Well, you know what's nice with these? Because it's the glass top. I, I think just keeping water in them in the fridge. Yes. And, and they'd be so nice. Oh, they would be. And yeah. Look, look at the, it's right? a rose. I think they're so pretty. Did you see that? Yeah. It's a rose, Mom. I it's know. all tactile. It is gorgeous. That is so stinking cute. I brought glasses. You're oh, amazing. Chris did this. Chris did this. I, I won't lie. Ah, uh, he did. I had the idea. He did the run. Oh, I what a sweetheart. I'm very excited because if there's one thing I need tonight, it's booze. Yes. See, that was the thought. <laughs> you know me well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mama Mo is here, Molly. Yes. To save the day. The Saving the day with a blow up air mattress and booze. Yay. Well, Thank you so much, Mo. So you're welcome. Reenact. Okay. My mom wants us to reenact the hug, so just so you know we love each other, we're hugging again on camera. Yeah. Just so you guys know, this is just some of the boxes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is all things I ordered to Mo and Chris's house to prep for the move. I mean, I ordered toilet paper. I ordered washing up liquid. I ordered everything you could possibly need for this move. I'm like, oh my God, we're gonna have to go and get this. I'm like, no, I ordered it. Amazon came in clutch for me, so thank you, Amazon. Um, and then there's more packages back there. I'm making zones. Um, and then back there is where empty boxes are gonna go. Oh, you're so organized. Yes, so Molly we started, was all organized when we came back. And then those are the suitcases we Ooh, came with. I hear a knock at the door. Okay, so I'll keep it, continue. We're, we, it's all chaotic. Anyways, <laughs> everybody's moving even more boxes in that I ordered. And um, we started opening them while everybody's moving some more in. And the first box I opened was the toys I ordered for Ben. Cause I didn't Show us what they do. <laughs> oh my god. He'll He's going to love them, Molly. So there's a unicorn, and I think this one is maybe a giraffe? What do you think? What is, no. what is it? Hedgehog. It's a hedgehog. It's a hedgehog. Oh, it's the favorite toy in the world is a no. hedgehog. Did you know you ordered it? No, that? I didn't. I knew I, I ordered it because the unicorn, but it was a set. I didn't know what the other it one was. It looks like the two of you. The unicorn looks like you and the hedgehog like Ben. So um, <laughs> when he comes to his new home for the first time, when he's feeling better, he will have toys. That's Here they cool. are. You Here we go. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Welcome Cheers. home. Cheers. Welcome home. Cheers. Not raining. I was Seriously. in a puffer vest this morning. A puffer vest. Molly. Yeah. We're back. We're back. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to open the vent, but I need help because I'm short. Okay. No, we can reach it. Okay. Can I reach it? Keep going. Keep going. Oh, almost up, there. Up, up, up. Oh, up. Up. To your right. To your right. Up. Chris. Up. Almost Push. There. Up. A little bit more. Up. A little bit lift. Up. 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 Okay. No, we, no, well, hang on, hang on. Somebody needs to help her, though. No, no, no. no I'm gonna climb on. Okay, okay. Am I gonna okay, hang on to the wall, though, so, Mom. I don't think no, you're gonna be able to do. Hang on. Yeah, but she's gotta hang under the okay. wall. Okay. All right. Well, she needs help. You got it. No, she's doing it. She's got it. Look at this girl go. Okay, up to your right. Over, over to your left. A little bit more. Okay, up. Bring it down. Yeah. Well done. Okay, hang on. Okay. There we go. Yay! Success. We got it. I thought this was a cute idea, but it's dangerous. <laughs> Try at your own risk. Okay. Hello. It has been a wild journey to get to here. Today is Tuesday. It's like 5 p.m. and we got here around 2 or 3 p.m. on Saturday. So it's been a couple days. We've been sleeping on an air mattress with a hole in it that keeps sinking. So like every couple hours <laughs> in the middle of the night, I hit a button and it goes, Ooh. Molly likes a firm mattress. <laughs> uh, nobody likes a sinking one. No, I, I, it doesn't bother me so much, but you're so funny. I'll hear you in the night, <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, there goes Molly. 
<laughs> I'm so pleased it doesn't bother you. Also, we were supposed to get a Wi-Fi set up on Sunday, but there was a ton of issues. So that hasn't happened. So I've been like hot spotting my phone. It's been great. Um, all the, the like trials and tribulations of moving, but so worth it. So today, the most exciting thing is happening. Actually, the two most exciting things are happening. We're simultaneously getting Wi-Fi put in and... Oh God. <laughs> Don't fall, whatever you do. My mattress has arrived. <laughs> Yay! Woo! This is from Birch Living. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them, but I was looking at all sorts of different mattresses and I was gonna get the mattress that I always get. But then I found this one and they are organic, eco-friendly, sustainably made, and I just really want to try it out because you don't really see that that often. Years ago when I was having lung problems, I had to replace like all my pillows, sheets, duvets, everything, um, and try to find like a really clean option, hyperallergenic, and I couldn't find it, it was really hard to find. And so I want to give this a try. I'm also just trying as a human to make steps towards living a more sustainable life, making more sustainable choices for myself. And so I want to give it a try and be able to let you guys know what I think. So far I have tried the duvet and sheets. Both are luxurious and lovely, would highly recommend. Um, I got the pillows in today. They are really cool. It's an organic cotton and it's stuffed with um, like recycled water bottle. That's so like, amazing. But eh? it, let, it feels so soft. Like it's very interesting. So I haven't slept on those yet because they just came today along with the queen, the mattress. Okay, I will um, oh, take it out now. Careful. We don't need any injuries on top of okay. moving. Okay. We're out. Oh, there you go. You can step enough. My mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my mom helped pre-cut it for me okay yep. i'm gonna need help okay well you're doing quite well on your own yeah i, I was gonna help you but maybe you're okay <laughs> you stay there and here we go i love it it's cr okay you guys i i know we've got like electric cars and We've got like smart technology and things you can talk to. I get it. But I think the true indicator of how far we've come as a society is that mattresses come in boxes now. Like this is wild to me. Is this wild to anybody else? I know, I know it's been around for a bit, but I still just think of my childhood getting like the mattress people coming to deliver the mattress and it's like just the entire large mattress. This is a full queen. Okay. <laughs> You need the scissors or something. No. Oh no, you're doing that. No. Okay. Oh no, no you're doing it. You're just doing it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know anybody who is as passionate about high quality sleep products than me. I am on a mission to try them all. Which is why I was like, Molly, switch it up. Try a new company. Try something new. I did actually have offers from like a couple of different mattress companies when they found out that I was moving. I had like a bunch of mattress companies reach out. So I had my pick of the litter as they say. And as I said, um, my, my OG fave did offer as well. And I was like, I know I love them, let's just do it. But then I looked into Birch Living and I was like, I've got to give this a try. Like if this is as good as it sounds, I want to know to be able to recommend like a sustainable eco-friendly option for people when it comes to sleep. Yay, here you go. Oh, oh, it's happening. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> That's pretty easy, eh? Can you tell I've been working out? <laughs> Did you go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Blind girls beware. <laughs> and obviously this place is a mess. Like that's to be expected, I think. Yes, so yes. So no judgments, okay? Oops, hold on. The Wi-Fi guy's here. This is a good little workout. I don't need to go to the gym today, that's for sure. Their mattresses are organic, non-toxic, and made from just four materials sourced straight from nature. It's also worth noting that this mattress is non-toxic. I want to let you know that you can get a 100-night sleep trial, 25-year warranty with flexible payment plans. It is made in the USA and has free shipping. Whew, we got her out of the plastic. Your girl is hot, all right? I have got the Eco Rest pillow, the Lux Organic mattress, and it's go time. The moment of truth. Okay. Okay. Are oh, you going to jump? Oh yeah. I'm all, I'm <laughs> Ready? Here she goes. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Good thing I didn't fling off. I know. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Yes. Okay. Now I, look, I know I've been sleeping 
you know, on a, on a deflated air mattress. <laughs> but girl, we have arrived. We have arrived to luxury. Oh yeah. Oh look, he looks so comfortable. I want to thank Birch for gifting this to me once again and let you guys know that they are offering a promo code. You can use code Molly Burke upon checkout to get $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows for the best night's sleep of your life. Okay, mattress is on the floor. We don't have any furniture yet, but we're working on it. Um, I've got, uh, well, we've only got one set of sheets, so we've got another set of sheets on the way. I have been sleeping with Benny's toys that I bought him every night because I miss him and you will know, be waiting for him with my scent all over them when he gets here. The lights are getting installed, um, pot lights are getting installed throughout Friday, on Friday. so in a couple days, which will be very helpful. Here, I don't know if I showed you guys, but this is Benny's setup. Um, so I got him both of these things from Amazon. They'll be linked in my Amazon storefront. Amazon saved the day. Like without Amazon, we would have had nothing when we arrived. Um, but this is like a black matte rubber. It's a, the shape of a bone. It has two bowls. They come in tons of different sizes. And then this like food container, it says dog food. It's black and white. So it's like a, it's a vibe and it like fits perfectly under here. And then in here I have like his treats and uh, his toys and just everything ready for when he gets home and that's where we're at now my mom is going to kindly make us some chili yep. and we shall continue oh come this way i'll show you the closet so far oh and they came today and they like you know when you move in you've got to check that everything works so they came in today to fix the plug in the bathtub and one of the blinds and um, add like another rod that was missing in the closet so they were so on top of it this is probably the best apartment i've lived in in la very good we still have a ways to go i want to go to the container store and get like things to organize this area with like boxes and stuff and we need some more hangers but it's coming along we're waiting on some orders for like duvet covers and all of that kind of stuff, but we're getting it's there. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> happy Molly, happy Molly. It's so good to be back. I'm playing with my de-stressing fidget toys. We have officially been here for one week and a hectic week it has been, my friends. But a lot of <laughs> done. Look, it looks like absolute chaos right now. Um, but yeah. yesterday it was actually spotless. This so. was perfect yesterday. It's incredible what's happened. It's incredible what's happened in this day. <laughs> Even this morning it was perfect. I can't believe it's like this. <laughs> but we just weren't gonna protect. We were like, we could do a good, quick cleanup, but we also have so many other things to get done, so we could just not. Yeah. And I decided to just not. We'll be doing washing and packing for VidCon and Yes. So the lights have been put in. Look, these are the lights amazing. we were expecting when we got here a week ago, which is why we were shocked that there was none at all. Because the ones we had toured um, all had the pockets. Like this, they were so, beautiful. It's incredible, it's so bright. The team here has been just like, the staff are just- like, The best so ever. So wonderful, so kind. So it's been amazing. So look how bright it is now. Isn't that gorgeous? We still have no furniture but mattresses and mattress pads. But we're surviving. But we're surviving. We got a place like, to sleep and two chairs. Honestly, I was saying this to my editor, Robin, who was here the other day to come see it. I said to her, I genuinely feel, as somebody who's lived in many different types of places, I, I don't think there is more luxury in life than an AC unit and in-unit washer and dryer. So many people around the world don't have those things. Even here in Los Angeles, they're very uncommon. And so to me, anything beyond that is simply like icing on a cake. I don't think your life, what's the, the quality of life. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think your quality of life improves beyond that. I think if you, if those are things you want and you get them, like that's the peak of quality of life. And beyond that, like it's all just like fluff that you don't need. Would you agree, Mom? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like uh, everything absolutely. else is just That's why we just got funsies. one bedroom because why have another bedroom and more? Like we don't... Yeah, I mean this place is like absolutely beautiful and is it as like premium and fancy as like the place that I own? No, but like none of it matters. I've got AC and I've got a washer and dryer and that is luxury and I am so fortunate to get to live in two beautiful cities that I love. And really, I just want all of you to know, like I'm, I'm sure on social media and like celebrity lives, you see 
people living in like incredibly glamorous, fancy places. And I've, I've stayed in those kinds of places and I just genuinely feel like beyond a washer and dryer and AC, life doesn't actually get better. I don't know, I just think it's good to have like expectations because you don't need to shoot for that. Um, so I think it's always great to shoot for the stars and I'm that person. I'm like shoot for the stars because the worst thing that can happen is it doesn't happen and then you're no worse off. So like it's great to shoot for like fancy luxury life if that's what your heart desires, but genuinely it doesn't get better than just a washer and dryer and AC. And if you never have those things, like I've lived in places where I haven't had either of those things too. And it's about like the people you surround yourself with and um, you know, being able to do something that you enjoy every day. And I just, I want you to know that although I have fancy things and sure, like I enjoy them, those aren't really what bring happiness in life. And if you don't have those things, it does not matter. And you can still find joy in your life in other ways that are way more meaningful than like physical things. I am perfectly happy living here with a mattress on the floor because I love that I'm back in LA. I love that I'm back in a city that makes me feel like I can be myself. Discovered who I am and was finally free to be who I am and let go of like the bullied blind girl that I felt like I was stuck being in the city I was raised in. Like I just, I love that I'm back here and so it doesn't matter that there's a mattress on the floor or that we've had two fire alarms, including one real one, story time to come, and lots of other chaos. Um, I'm just happy to be here. So thank you for coming with me. And we are doing some laundry right now because we're getting ready for VidCon. But I want to show you, I feel like although it's still chaos, we have made so much progress for just one week given all the hectic things that are going on in our real life, like, you know, Ben Ben and, um, the alarms and VidCon just up. VidCon coming up, still doing work, trying to catch up with some friends while we're here, you know? So I feel like we've done great. So, you know, closet is getting organized. All of this is going to be where my mom's clothes go. So I'm gonna help her do that later. And um, the rest is mostly my stuff. Mm -hmm. That's all bedding for when we get a bed and it's not a mattress on the floor and yeah i mean that's that's really it um thank you guys for enjoying this hectic move with me and i hope that wherever you are whatever you're doing with your life you find peace you find joy you find love and happiness and health um because those are things that like really matter the most in life um so yeah thank you guys for allowing me to do what i love every single day and live my dream without you guys none of this would be possible and i Okay, aggressive. Um, I genuinely like pinch myself every single day still. It's very surreal and I wake up often and think, is this really my life? And it is, and it's all because of you guys. Um, and you, Neve, and my dad. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> you, my, my father, my team, all of you, Robin, all of you contribute to this every single day. So thank you so, 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 so much. And until next time, you can click over here to hear about a move that went really poorly. <laughs> Or you can click over here to see the tour of the place that I've been living for the past six months.